Percival Spencer was born in 1897. When he was 14, growing up in Connecticut, he built his own hang glider from plans in a magazine. That was only 10 years after Whitehead's historic first flight. While still in high school, Spencer got his hands on a wrecked Curtis flying boat. He restored the plane and taught himself to fly. He went on to design several amphibious planes like the Republic CB, but Spencer's most unique contribution was his work on flapping wing aircraft, called ornithopters. In the 1950s, he built a series of engine-powered ornithopters in the shape of a bird. Known as the seagulls, there were several models that ranged in size up to an 8-foot wingspan. These seagulls were flown in free flight, without any radio control. But Spencer also built the world's first radio-controlled ornithopter. The Spencer Ornaplane was first flown in 1961. Spencer developed the Ornaplane in collaboration with Jack Stevenson. Stevenson brought to the project his expertise in radio control and sail design. For the Ornaplane, they decided to use a biplane configuration with upper and lower wings working opposite to each other. This kept the body from shaking up and down, which was important because Spencer wanted to build a manned ornithopter based on this design. Notably, the ornithoplane could take off unassisted from the ground. It would be a long time before any other radio-controlled ornithopter could do the same. The Ornaplane had a 90-inch wingspan and it weighed 7.5 pounds. It was powered by a .35 cubic inch two-stroke engine. The wing tension could be adjusted like sails on a boat, and this was used for aileron control in addition to the elevator and rudder. A system of pulleys provided power to the forward flapping wings. Thanks to a restoration effort sponsored by Model Airplane News, we now have complete details about the construction of the Ornaplane. You can download plans from the Ornithopter Society website, www.ornithopter.org.